And here we go on our Hey Mary Kay edition of the Orange and Brown Talk podcast. Our Football Insider subscribers sending us in questions. And you can imagine, Mary Kay, all the things that are on their mind. So let's get right to it. And let's just start here from the 330 area code. Hey, Mary Kay, is it best to play Case Keenum and the backups on Thursday to give Baker, Odell, and the other guys a few weeks to get healthy? And, of course, the big name here is is Baker. Well, that is a great question. Um, I just finished writing a story about how he is actually getting a second opinion on his shoulder. And I don't think we will know. We are taping this on Monday. I don't think we'll know more about uh, the extent of the injury until Tuesday. Uh, That's really the only full day of practice that they have this week on Tuesday with the game coming up on Thursday. Um, And I mean, there's a chance he's he's either going to be limited in practice on Tuesday or maybe even sit out the practice on Tuesday, depending on what happens with these exams. He had an MRI today. Um, there's starting to be a part of me that thinks that sitting him down in this game might be the wise thing to do. Uh, I think he's still in a lot of pain and he's obviously going to have to wear the harness again. And the whole key is, can he make it worse by going out there? Part of it is, are the offensive tackles going to play? If Jed Wills isn't going to play and Jack Conklin isn't going to play, then he could be a little bit of a sitting duck back there with a torn labrum that might be a little bit more torn than it was heading into this game with the uh, re-injury and the dislocation again disturbing that it slipped out again on a non-contact play later in the game after jj watts sack that he re-injured it on Uh, so he had the harness on it slips out anyways so i think there are a lot of things to consider there's part of me that's starting to think that maybe sitting him down is the wise thing to do I did think it was interesting when we talked to Kevin Stefanski today that, I mean, as much as he actually does entertain ideas in his pressers, that he sort of entertained the idea that maybe Baker wouldn't be out there on Thursday. Now, he didn't outright say it, but he wasn't like adamant, yes, Baker's going to play. Now, obviously, Baker was adamant that he was going to play on Sunday night. But Kevin was, Kevin left the door open, I guess is the way to put it. He, he left the door open that there could be a decision made in the next few days. Yes, he absolutely did. And again, as I went through the day and I did more reporting on on the issue and discovered that uh, it's not just up to the Browns team doctors, you know, Baker has to have a say in this. And Kevin Stefanski said that several times during his press conference, that it's up to the doctors and it's up to Baker Mayfield. Well, Baker Mayfield's part in it includes his own independent doctors looking at these MRI results and advising him on what to do. And even though he's going to want to play, if his people and his docs that he trusts say, you should not go out there, that will, you know, that will loom large in the decision. Now, I said this in my story yesterday, it will take a team of Broncos to keep him out of the game. Um, But, you know, because he's going to want to play. I mean, it's, we have, how many times have we seen him go bounding back into a game when he probably shouldn't have gone back into the football game? Uh, we've never seen him miss a game and he doesn't want to start now. He's like Jarvis. He's like a lot of these guys. They don't want to miss regardless of how hurt they are. But um, in this case, it won't just be Kevin Stefanski's decision and it won't just be the Browns team physicians decision. It will be a collective decision. The other part of this too is quarterback is just different. You know, I I mean, that's, I I knew that Kevin wouldn't give a good answer for it, but that's why I kind of asked him, like, quarterback is just different from other positions. Like, you're going to, you're going to play a guy or a guy is going to want to play or get out there, maybe in circumstances that you might rest other players. Like, nine times out of ten, you want your starting quarterback out there as opposed to your backup, unless it's just, as Baker likes to say, you know, the arm is attached. Well, unless that arm is unattached, he wants to be out there. And, and I think as a coaching staff, you want him out there too. It's just, you just approach that position differently than the others. Yeah, I think so. I mean, you, you, they're going to do everything they possibly can to give him a chance to play unless it is determined that he's putting himself at risk and nobody wants that. Nobody wants him to end up missing the rest of the season. So if sitting him down for a game or even two, probably not to, but, sitting him down possibly on Thursday night and then having him have that 10 days 
uh, before he has to face the Steelers on Halloween. You know, if that seems like the right thing to do, then, um, you know, then that's what's going to happen. And I find it hard to believe that that's what's going to happen. And I'm sure you agree with me on this, Dan. I mean, it, it would be really hard to keep Baker out of this game. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, I, mean, I mean, he's, it, he's never he's never missed a game. No. And it's an important game. It's an important yeah. game. They are at three and three right now. They've lost back-to-back games for the first time in the Kevin Stefanski regime. Uh, it's an AFC game. And uh, they have fall, they have slipped into third place in the AFC North. You know, they're two games behind the, the Ravens right now. I mean, you, you don't want to start to see that number grow. So I know he's going to want to get back out there and he'll do everything he can to play in this game. 